Hey guys, alright, so week 28, it's actually 28 weeks in like two days because I'm behind, but I took my photos on time, so the photos of the belly are accurate to 28 weeks. <sighs> okay, so Kyle and I are at this very moment working on the nursery more, and Sophie is at Grandma and Grandpa's house, um, and we are, yep, so we're just trying to get that done. So that's why I tried to go downstairs and freshen up a little bit. <laughs> but I was wearing like sweats and stuff, so I just threw on what I was wearing yesterday. So I could do this vlog and not be totally in sweats. So, week 28, I know on my Facebook when it updated that I was 28 weeks long and everybody was like, what? And, and I, that's how I feel too. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I just, it goes by really quickly. So it's funny because there are certain points when I'm pregnant that I feel like it's really slow, I guess at the beginning, and now I'm kind of like, ah, there's not much time left. So that's kind of a little bit of a um, weight on my shoulders because, like I was saying last week, I really enjoy being pregnant and I don't want it to go by too fast. And so, yes, yeah, so that's crazy. So let's see, let's, what can I, what's been going on? So, okay, so on um, Monday... I had my um, doctor's appointment and it went awesome. I had to get um, two things of merit there. I did my one hour glucose glucose drink test and then I also had to get my Rogam, my RH negative shot. And so a lot of people complain that that shot hurts really bad. It did not hurt that bad for me when I got it with Sophie. Um, Sophie ended up being positive, so I had to get a second shot after I delivered her, um, and it didn't hurt that bad then, and it didn't hurt that bad again, so I don't know. <laughs> I joked that maybe I have extra padding, but it just doesn't really bother me that much. Um, I've always been, like, cool with shots, though. Like, I don't, I don't know, so maybe that helps, but, <laughs> but anyway, they do have to kind of, it's, it's a thicker needle, and they have to kind of jab it in because it's thicker, so, I mean, you know, it's not like that's fun, but it's just not that big a deal to me. So, yay. So I got that done to help protect me against, you know, if, I, if this new baby is also a positive. And then um, I had my one hour test, so I did film it. <laughs> I had the fruit punch. Um, and I don't think I liked it better than the orange, but I didn't think it was worse either. Um, maybe I even did like it a little better. It's hard to say. It was kind of a toss up. I wrote about it on my actual blog. So you can go read, like, <laughs> the synopsis of it. And I put, um, I included photos, like, still frame from the video. <laughs> like, my face while I was drinking it, because it was really funny. But anyway, <laughs> so it, um, I drank it really, I made it sure it was icy cold, and I drank it. And, um, yeah, it was not, it was just not that bad. So then I was just like, okay, oh, I hope I don't fail this test. Because for those of you following me with Sophie, I failed the one hour glucose screening test with Sophia by, it was like a point or two. I mean, I barely failed it. And that was, my doctor's office has a stricter standard than even some other doctor's offices. So if I'd been at any other doctor's office, they would have been like, you passed. But at my doctor's office, they're all like, we're stricter. So anyway, it was just really annoying. So I was all nervous about this one. I was like, I don't want to have to take that three hour test. So I went in and I had, they tested it and I was well below the cutoff. So I was like, yes. <laughs> and so that was awesome. So that was just like a weight off my shoulders. I'm like, yay, don't have to do the three hour test. Everything's looking awesome. So that was good. And the rest of my appointment went really well too. Um, I gained, I'm gaining weight like super slowly, which is great. Wonderful. Um, because I definitely feel like even though I'm not gaining weight really fast, like I'm so much chunkier looking than I was with Sophie even though weight wise I'm about the same but I think it's just because I'm a lot um, more flabby soft I have a lot less muscle tone than I did with her so with her as I was gaining the weight you know my muscle tone was was kind of keeping me looking a little bit more slender but now it's like I don't really have any like that much muscle tone especially in my back and like stomach area so <laughs> even though I'm not really weighing anymore I have, it's like, it's just like fat. <laughs> so, but at least like, I, I don't know. I told you guys my goal was I would, 
ideally, I was hoping to gain only about 20 pounds, um, and I'm not there yet. But if I gain up to 25, I'm okay with that. Um, my weight weight rate, my <laughs> starting weight range was, you know, technically in the normal. Like I wasn't overweight. I was in like a normal weight weight range. But I was kind of at the high end of normal, and so I didn't want to necessarily gain the 25 to 35 pounds that they say is okay whenever you are in a healthy weight range. So um, I was hoping to gain more like 20, 25. So I guess the lower end of like what's a good weight range. And I'm on track, so here's the hoping. So that makes me happy every time. My blood pressure was still great. Everything was good, so it was a good checkup. It was funny, though, because the doctor was like, you know, uh, she's like, okay, I'm going to want to see you again in two weeks. And I was like, why? Is something wrong? Like, that was my first thought when she said that. And she was like, no, you're just that at that point. Totally forgot that you start seeing your doctor every two weeks. I'm about seven months pregnant, so... <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking it was like at eight weeks you started doing that. I, I read, I'm sorry, at eight months you started doing that. I guess, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I look kind of like an idiot because I was all like, oh no, what's the problem? And she was just like, uh, 28 weeks pregnant. <laughs> I like to see you more often. So <laughs> anyway, so that's kind of exciting though. So yeah, so now I'm going in every two weeks. And I'm one of those weird people that kind of likes going to the doctor when she's pregnant because it's just, I don't know, it's just exciting to you know, go in every visit, and, and it's, you know, it's because it's a baby, it's not because you're sick, and it's just, you know, I don't know, it's exciting, so, yeah, so I'm at that point, you guys, what, so that's crazy, and let's see, other than that, I've been getting really tired, I mean, what, that's to be expected, I'm still having, you know, some back pain, so the main thing that's happening, and this has actually been happening for a while, and I never remember to mention it, I've mentioned it um, maybe like once or twice, but that is like the leaking of the ladies. I did not leak this much with Sophie. I leak a lot, you guys. It's just like, I feel like it's almost like a constant like <laughs> leaking going on. And it's not much. It doesn't, you know, it's not going to like ruin my clothes. It does, you know, my night nightgown or something. Like it'll collect and I'm like, ugh. But <laughs> I just did not leak like that when I was pregnant with Sophia. So I don't know if it's just because... It's the second baby, and I nurse Sophia, you know, so that my, 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 you know, chest is just like, oh yeah, let's do this. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm definitely leaking more, so um, I think I'm going to have to pull out my little breast pads. Um, that That's what you use when you're nursing. <laughs> you will keep, you can keep them in your bra and, you know, to kind of help with the leaking or if you, you know, spontaneously or whatever with milk. <laughs> So I think I'm going to have to pull those out now because, yeah, so that's happening. That happens a lot. <laughs> and I was funny because I'd like to blame it on, like, Sophia, like, oh, when I give her a hug or a kiss, it triggers the response and I leak. But it happens, like, I could be, like, sitting on the couch, you know, eating a Pop-Tart and, like, watching an action movie and I'll, like, leak. And I'm like, what? So I don't think it's just emotionally triggered. I think it's just happening. <laughs> so, yeah, so the ladies are getting ready. The ladies are, like... Hey, let's feed a baby. So, so yeah. So that's been like my main thing. And I don't know, it just seems like it's been picking up. But other than that, everything's kind of status quo. You know, I'm just um, definitely feeling bigger. I'm not as quick. I've had to take my, my exercising indoors because outside it's just the heat's ridiculous. Um, and yeah, so let me show you guys live action belly shot. I am wearing a dress, but I put shorts on under it so that I can show you guys.
so that and then the photos um and yeah i'm definitely getting bigger i don't think he's i still don't think he's dropping i carried sophia very very low um and this one i'm not carrying low he, he carries a lot higher he may look a little low because i'm so short-waisted that <laughs> like like i've said billions of times my legs are like this like really long and then my sh waist my my like um torso is like this short got like short torso on like stilts so the <laughs> so it might look like he's lower but um and he i hope i'm thinking he is getting a little lower but at the same time he's definitely way higher than i ever was with sophia so so yeah, so I definitely do the whole like get into certain positions and have to do that because he's just up higher. But other than that, yeah. So that's good. And guys, seven months pregnant? What? I don't know. Anyway, all right. So I'm going to go because I want to do an operation, um, get ready for baby video update too. And other than that, I put up two other vlogs this week. I put up our Easter one and I put up one uh, Sophia unedited video where she... <laughs> She like steals my dinner while we're eating outside and sings us a, or like choreographs a song for us. So anyway, it's really funny. But okay guys, so that's it for now. And I will talk to everybody next week. Yay. Bye.